you already know this, but I'm going to be doing a little YouTube tutorial on how to make tutus. Um, you've probably seen them everywhere. I see them mostly on Etsy, and some of the ones on Etsy, they can go for at least 30 40 bucks, and um, they're super easy to make, really, and really inexpensive, too. So if you want to make your little girl or someone you know a little tutu, um, I'm going to show you how. Uh, this is the one I made my daughter. I love that I did this because at first I wasn't going to do it. The polka dot ribbon around it because I wasn't sure. I was 100% positive on how to do it and I didn't want to mess up. But I'm really glad I did it. It was really easy. So, so uh, it was really, it's really fun to make. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need um, a tape measure. You're going to need scissors. Um, you're going to need uh, ribbon. Um, I preferably, preferably, uh, satin or polyester. Um, make sure you do not get ribbon that has the wire on the edges. Like there's some ribbons that come with wire on the edges, and that's not something you want wrapped around your, you know, a kid's waist. That would be really uncomfortable. And then you need your material, which is taffeta. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's really um, a porous material. There's tons of holes in it, and it's super inexpensive. Um, I got mine from Walmart, and I got it was it was I think 98 cents per yard. Um, and I bought mine in two. I got three yards of the hot pink, and then I got two yards of the light pink. So that's how you see like the mix kind of color, like the lighter pink on the outside, the darker pink on the inside. Um, okay, then that's, and then you're going to also need, the last thing I almost forgot, is you're going to need your um, elastic, and this is also going to be in the sewing aisle. Um, uh, you, it's really, you're, if you're doing it for a small, you know, way, so you don't have to, you can just get, like, by one, they usually come in around three yards total, and that'll be perfect. It's usually around, like, two to four bucks. Um, so first, what you need to do is take your little one or get estimates estimates from somebody else and know uh, around, like, uh, the waist measurements. Uh, okay, then once you have that, take your elastic. And, you know, you measure it on your elastic and you cut it out to the appropriate size. Um, and then, say you have your size ready, you have it all cut out. You're going to sew or just take a needle and thread. That's pretty, that's what I did. I just took my sewing machine and I just stitched up and down until I got it nice and secure. And then once you do that, next all you have to do is cut your material. So, you're going to need, I think... I think each strand was around 12 inches long and about um, 4 to 5 inches wide. But really, you don't need to go and measure how, the width of it. It's really, it can be all different sizes for the width. You don't have to be exact. But I'd be more so exact on the length of each uh, strip. Okay. So then once you do that, you cut your strips out, so just, you know, fold your, take, you know, you have your three yards, fold it in half, um, fold it in half until the length of it is 12 inches, and then, you know, just cut off the top or wherever the folds are at, so then you can get sheets that are, you know, 12 inches tall, and then just cut, just kind of guesstimate and cut your strips. Um, you don't really, it's really, you don't need to go and measure the width of each strip because that's just silly because once you tie it and stuff, you, it's all, the measurements are all over the place and it still looks good. Um, so then once you do that, you after you have your band and it's all sewed together, great idea is to find um, either you just cu cut out a square thing of cardboard. I actually got this from the bottom of um, a box. So it kind of worked perfectly. Um, so you're gonna after you have you know you have this band so so you're gonna just kind of stretch it around there, like like so. So it's gonna be stretched around. Then you're gonna take your material. I need to find a long enough material. Oh, I think I threw it away. Okay. So here's my material. 
this is a little little tiny version because I think I threw away the extras I don't know why I did that but so you're gonna take your material you're gonna fold it in half so fold your, your 12 inch in half and then you're going to go and you're going to put it underneath and you can see so you're going to put this underneath the elastic then you're going to take your two ends that are on the bottom and you're going to put it through the hole on the top and then you're just going to simply pull and push together so you see how it sticks out like that and you're gonna it's gonna it's a really time consuming you're gonna have to do a ton of these for you to get a full figured skirt so just do once after you you've done this all around the skirt and the skirts full now comes the time for your ribbon so you're going to take your ribbon and open this ribbon up. And after you have to imagine this is a, I'll just demonstrate on the skirt, but I already did it. So once you have your full skirt and you've did it all around, it's nice and full and you like the fullness, you're going to take your material, your ribbon, and you're just going to fold it and weave it in and out between the little rolls you've made. So like that. So you see I kind of did that. So you're just going to, you know, in and out, weaving in and out in between each of these little tutu parts you've made. And then that's pretty much it. I don't, that's, it's a really simple. I thought it was going to be way harder than it was, but it was actually pretty easy. If you have any questions or if I wasn't specific enough, you can go ahead and comment and I will get a lovely answer. Um, so it's super easy. It's, it was really fun. My daughter loves her little skirt. Um, so hopefully if you do this, if you would like to send me a picture of it, I'd love to see it. So have a wonderful day.